G'day guys and welcome back to Warrior, this is episode 9. Uh, I've already forgotten what happened previously, I don't even have my notes on me, so I can't even uh, <laughs> refer to those, but uh, I think we're setting up for a champion versus champion battle, if I'm remembering correctly. Um, a businessman was killed by what's her name, and then... His body was tossed into the ocean and washed up at the beach at the end. But, yeah, the biggest takeaway was the setting up for a champion v. champion uh, fight between the two gangs. And I think... Now, I really need my notes. The mayor's wife, what's her name? Penelope or something, I forget. Who was the one that was banging awesome. Um, they're no longer banging. <laughs> Apparently she had a, um, a change of heart. I think her, the fun for her is over. Um, the, uh, temptation to break the rules, I think is out of her system. So they're no longer together. They may get back together. I don't know. This is only season one. There's still, I think there's three seasons in total. So... Who knows what's going to happen there, but yeah, um, like I said, we are uh, gearing up for a champion v champion fight, but before we get to that, let's just read the comments that I got from uh, last video, from, oh man, Hainby, Hanaby, I have no idea how to say that still, but thank you again for commenting, who says at 8.44, she speaks okay English. But you notice she speaks to the white guy with an accent. That's her real accent. But when she's speaking fluent English to a Chinese character, she's actually speaking Chinese. Uh, at around 8.44. Mm, if I remember correctly, that's when she killed the businessman, right? They were trying to make a deal with him, but she killed him anyway. Yeah, she does have an accent. But speaking fluent English, when would she have done that? Whether it was around that time or a previous episode, but you, but you're right. I do I have to pay more attention because I think she has spoken fluent English before, but I've not really noticed it. So, okay. I'll have to watch out for that one in the future, but hmm, thank you for pointing that out. It's just a way of, um, subtly referencing that they're speaking a different language, even though they're not. Which is still confusing. I don't like it, but whatever. Let's move on to episode nine. This is also the penultimate episode of the season. So we're nearly finished with season one. Good a place of fight as any. <laughs> what are they doing? It is a it is a ring, yeah. Okay. <clears throat> And all it took was for his daughter to bang somebody, huh? <laughs> Man, that's some training. Whatever happened just slamming your palm into some water? That's a cool... That's a cool look. A ring of fire. They're going all out for this, huh? Guess they take it very seriously. What the hell is this? Looks like a street fair of some kind. Yeah, like it is like a full on like event. They make it legal. <laughs> they got bedins, they got food. Cool. I didn't think they'd go all out like this. I literally thought it was just gonna be like a in a room somewhere and they would just fight, but they put on a full like sporting event. I 
Is it just so that like everyone in Chinatown know who's ruling what? Like, I don't really understand the purpose of going all out like this. You ready for this? I mean, it's just like two rival gangs, right? Why are they doing it? I know Father June won't say it, and I'll forget later. So, I just want to say thanks. You didn't have to do this. I didn't. <laughs> yeah, he was kind of forced into it, We're right? Having a moment here, man. Don't fuck it up with the truth. Hmm. Are you sure about this? What do you mean? It is your brother. He's your brother. Only one of us is going to walk out of there. It's not going to be you. Unless the cops break it up or something, I don't know. Shouldn't you guys be on your beat? Streets are empty, everyone's here. <laughs> yeah, nothing to patrol. Stay sharp, man. Unless there is, and it's a distraction as well. It would be the perfect opportunity to pull something off. Oh, I was waiting for like a gong or something. <laughs> nah. Okay. Nice flip. Knee. Beautiful. I don't know, I'm not a fan of the camera work. It's too close. Man, I'm glad that it's following the people around the uh, the ring, I guess, but it's still too close. You slap him in the ear. He's a fan of doing that. He's gonna stop using his legs so much, because he always keeps getting grabbed. Man, what's she doing here? Instantly recognized, huh? He's getting his bell wrong. Ooh, right fucking there. Ow. Grab the sash. No roundhouse. <laughs> it's alright. He's gonna go in for the sash, but then gonna get fucked up. He waited too long, man. This is what you get. That was a cool kip up. Fuck that. Ah, oh, hell no. Beautiful. That's a fucked up nose. I was actually about to ask, like, how are they not broken something by now? Where are you going? Cop's gonna break it up. Man, she's on the ground. She's gonna get trampled. Or not. Okay, he grabbed the sash. Good work. What Awesome should have done originally. Stupid. But yeah. I always thought that when they fought, it was gonna be like this. He was definitely out of class the first time we saw them sort of go at it. And now for something completely different. Ever since your grandfather died, you've been getting into trouble. Do you think you're honoring his memory? He would be ashamed. It's a coping mechanism. He wants to punch something. It may as well be someone's face.
I mean, at least he's got people looking after him. I didn't expect that. <laughs> what did they push in? His arm? Damn, I couldn't see what they were actually pushing in. But over the position of the body... Yeah, shoulder, arm... Who is this? Sifu, huh? I was also not expecting a bit of a montage in this either, but alright. I'm glad we're getting flashbacks though. It's one hell of an atmosphere to train in, I gotta tell you. When I did Taekwondo as a kid, it was in a basketball court. Like an indoor basketball court. School gym, really. But doing that out here, man, you got the fresh air. Morning chill. If I had known that you were gonna leave, I never would have brought the Sifu here. I'll come back to visit you every month. Promise? He did not, in fact, visit every month. I promise. I moved with the full knowledge of Long Z. He knew, as many of you sitting here know, that well, this day was inevitable. You manipulated him. Zhang. Everyone at this table knows it. It's Long just because Z she's a woman. His senses when she climbed into his bed. Yep. And yours. I understand you're angry, Zhang. Fuck Zhang. And answering to a woman must be difficult. Sounds like it. I think Zhang's about to die. Now anyone to disrespect me in my own house. That guy looks familiar. I forgot she had that. I know for some of you it might be difficult to accept a woman as your leader. Not anymore. But I see a great and prosperous future for the Long Z. I can't do it without you. Your political capital is on the decline, and if this project comes in one dime over budget, the Appropriations Committee will be calling for your head. So you want him to hire so Chinese workers? That's even person. just... He's your father-in-law. Gonna make things you worse. Know how this could look for you. Not be perceived to have granted favors in any way. I don't like feeling like an idiot. Then shave your mustache. I understand. This isn't a problem that goes away, Chai. Not for me and not for you. If we don't catch someone soon, things are gonna get very ugly in Chinatown. Especially for anyone who deals that with That makes me afraid problems. for that young girl that knows how to use one. She could be used as a scapegoat, like I said she was going to be. Do you make threat to Charles, Sergeant? <sighs> I'm just trying to look out for you. I've been thinking about when we went out to Grass Valley a lot. You ever think about that? Hmm. I never should have come back. That was the, uh... Bar? With that woman you've had a thing for? I think? Is that the place? Why is Georgia getting jumped? Asking too many questions, maybe? Well, that's the guy that's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> yep. And so far, this guy's just been defending himself. Hopefully it's just a warning. Ah, 
That blood spray was fantastic. A mahjong tile? Ah, it's just a warning, obviously. Everyone's getting their ass kicked this episode. Um, he hit us and lost his fight because he fucked up. And I mean, obviously, Georgia got his ass kicked there, but we got a decent flashback to awesome as a teenager getting his ass kicked there. Uh, but learning from a Sifu in, I assume, some form of field. Um, that was a great location, though. Uh, just, yeah, in the field with the snow-capped mountains behind them, that crisp air. Be an awesome place to train in, I reckon. Um, but other than that, uh, what's her name? Is her name Penelope? I can't find my notes. The mayor's wife, um, showing up at the fight. Showing up. During his recovery as well. I don't know what her deal is, man. I really don't. I've lost interest in it anyway. But, um, other than that, um, her father, um, being a bit screwed around by, what's his name? The, the senator's assistant? Is that what he is? The mayor's assistant, but he works for the senator or something uh making up shit about chinese workers and a second vendor um hopefully the father uh doesn't start hiring chinese workers in order to match this fake bid because it's just gonna piss the irish off and it's not gonna go down well so i'll have to wait and see what happens with that but otherwise i mean the fight was good the choreography was excellent, but it just comes down to the camera work. I, I said it during the reaction, but the camera was too close in order for you to pick up everything that was going on. Uh, it needed to be a bit further back. I, I, I did like how it moved with them as they were sort of moving around the ring, but it needed to be a bit further back so you could actually see their movements happening. Because then it was like they do the thing and they've done it every episode every fight that they have where they'll move and they'll cut to a different uh different camera and show like the close-up of the the action and then the cut back to something else and it's, it's very distracting it really pulls me out of the choreography and it just needed to be better you know because uh, that fight was great that's what i was looking forward to like this whole season um, but again, the, the camera work and the editing just kind of ruined the whole thing for me, but yeah, I didn't realize they were actually going to make like a full on like prize fight spectacle out of the whole thing. I thought it would just be like in a room somewhere with people from both gangs watching to see who won and then things would move that way, but they had I'm not going to say all of Chinatown because apparently that's close to 25,000 people if they're all in Chinatown, but you know, however many people were there, there was a whole event thing. I didn't think they'd go that far. And, uh, yeah, I forgot <laughs> my Ling had the, the, uh, the gun in her sleeve too, as an added protection method. And she used it to kill that one dude, Zhang, that spoke out against her because she was a woman. <laughs> so that guy's dead. I wonder where his body's gonna wash up. Um, and it looks like they're gonna rice gouge the molasses. What is molasses? I think it's a sugar or something, a byproduct of sugar cane or something like that, if I remember correctly. Something about sugar. Didn't know there was a sugar smuggling thing happening, <laughs> but all right. I mean, that's that. That's the second to last episode of season one, man. Um, no idea how this season is going to end. Uh, if anything, this seemed like the season finale, but there's still one episode left. I have no idea what the hell's going to happen in that one. So, can't wait to find out what happens there. 
And as usual, if you all enjoy this reaction and want to see more, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, join me next time. I'll see you there.